we are now living in a world that it's not necessarily selfish but we are aware of how limited our time is because the most valuable thing in this world other than money is time and you can only take your own time away from you through engaging in toxic people like this so hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber my name is crystal and today we're going to do a video that's a little bit different for my channel and what i'm uploading at the moment it's going to be on how to glow up and remove negativity from your life including some toxic people so a lot of us do have to deal with a lot of different struggles every single day and sometimes we attract energy that is actually bringing us down even more and we are surrounding ourselves with people that aren't actually there to support us and encourage us through our journey through life. They're actually there to kind of bring you down and it can take kind of a bit of a reality check to actually confront that truth and today we're going to talk about that so before we jump into the video do not forget to subscribe to my channel i upload three times a week every monday thursday and saturday at 6 a.m melbourne time the thursday is a bonus video but i am remaining consistent with uploading that at the moment so if you are interested in makeup manifestation a little bit of luxury and also a few vlogs do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also have your post notification bell turned on. I'll also have my Instagram handles on the screen for you guys to go and check me out over there if you are interested in doing so. And I'll stop babbling and we can get straight into the video. So this is going to be like a really informal video. I'm kind of just going to be giving you guys my thoughts. I have been doing a lot of reading on the self-help space or the um, goal setting and encouraging space. I've been reading a lot of books, listening to a lot of podcasts and doing a lot of self-development this year myself as is just because the current circumstances are so unique um, and this is a space where you really can start to break down your behavior and understand why you act the way that you do and who you surround yourself with now is the time to be quite selective in this day and age we have a lot of things going on we don't just get up and go to work and then come home to your family cook dinner and go to bed that's not how it works anymore. You've got social media, you've got obligations to community groups, you've got um, so many different things that are required of you. And with the whole global that's happening, um, and not so much in Australia anymore, it's definitely still here, but it's not as prevalent as it was. People have tried to glow up and become the best versions of themselves. Uh, be that either through learning how to do spa treatments and stuff at home. For me, that's been learning how to do my own nails and dye my own hair. People have been starting YouTube channels. People have been learning how to do gardening in the backyard, building things, doing home renovations, selling things, doing clean outs of their wardrobes and stuff like that. People have really been trying to let go of baggage, but also learn new skills as well. So just coming back to that cleaning out of the wardrobe thing that I just mentioned, I feel like every single time there is a major thing that happens in a person's life, they usually tend to clean out their wardrobe or they get to a point where they go, oh, it's getting a bit messy now or there's not enough room in this wardrobe anymore for me to live comfortably. So it's just interesting that we will do that with tangible things in our lives, such as clothing, but we won't do that with ourselves. Now, we can surround ourselves with people that don't actually want to see us succeed. Now there is a type of personality out there that is quite narcissistic and they feed off you struggling. And you might not want to come to terms with the fact that you do have those kinds of people in your life, but it is important to understand that they are there and they're going to be very, very hard to, to deal with. And leaving a friendship with a person like that is essentially a breakup, especially if you've been friends with them for a long time. But for me, I think understanding whether somebody is toxic in your life or not is very important because it's something like that. It's going to probably sound very dramatic, but can actually shave years off your life because the more stressed you are in trying to meet that person's demands or support them or give them your all and then they don't give it back to you, the level of stress that that can cause on you can literally take years off your life. It's almost like a cancer. Like people can actually act like a physical cancer in your life and that's just not that's just not what we want right now i mean we are living in a life in a world we are now living in a world that it's not necessarily selfish but we are aware of how limited our time is because the most valuable thing in this world other than money is time and you can only take your own time away from you through engaging in toxic people like this 
So coming back to that wardrobe um, analogy, when you feel like you're being suffocated or if you feel like you're giving somebody your all and you're not getting anything in return, it's time to start thinking about what you need to do. So I've actually had to experience this and what I've done is slowly distance yourself away from people. You don't necessarily have to like block them on Facebook, block them on Instagram, like completely remove them from your life. What you can do are some strategic things. So when they text you or when they call you, don't respond every single day. You respond every second day. On social media, you can actually restrict their access to your to your platforms. So you can do that in Facebook by putting them onto your restricted list. They're not blocked, they're not unfriended, they're just restricted. So they'll probably be none the wiser. And the same thing with Instagram. You don't have to restrict them per se, but you can like hide their content from seeing it. So you can actually control what you see. So when it comes to toxic people and glowing up, what you tend to need to be able to do is find your inner strength. So that could be just through, I don't know, even just going for walks and stuff like that. There is actually a very strong connection between physical health and mental health and being able to deal with high stress circumstances, which a toxic person could be bringing into your life. So going for a daily walk and starting to focus on your foods and what you intake every single day in terms of having the right types of health foods and the right types of um, minerals and vegetables and fruits and fats and proteins and all that sort of stuff is really, really important to keep your mind stimulated and keep you feeling healthy and happy. So with a glow up, it all starts with you. So some little things such as just making your bed every single morning. You'd be surprised how much of a better mindset it puts you into knowing that you've actually made your bed every single morning. That can set you up for a better day. Now, when you're already set up for a better day, you're gonna eat better, you're gonna think better, you're gonna be clearer about your goals for the day. And it is important that you do set out your goals. So for me, I'm a lists person. I put lists out all the time and I always remind myself of what I'm hoping to achieve. So for example, today, um, I wanted to film a certain amount of videos and that's what I've done. I wanted to run some errands and I've done that and I wanted to vlog and I've done that. So for me, it's been um, a really, really great day in terms of having lists, keeping myself accountable and really going for it. Now, when you have lists and you keep yourself accountable, people's drama and people's problems don't become an issue to you because you are too focused on your own goals, on your own achievements and glowing up. And if you want to start your own business, if you want to start a candle business, if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to start a jewelry business, if you want to become a makeup artist, you can go out and do all of those things, but you need to be focused on what you want instead of caring about what everybody else needs from you all the time. And it is important to differentiate your needs from somebody else's needs and then projecting that onto you and trying to convince you that that is your need as well. So glowing up is not just about getting your hair done, doing your makeup, putting a fake tan on, all that sort of stuff, buying something new because you need to, whatever it might be. It's not just about that, it's about looking into your inner self and finding what is hurting you, hurting you in italics, um, and actually eradicating that and then becoming a better version of yourself. So for me, um, I know that this year I've been quite stressed about uh, my health and my fitness and it's something that I knew that I could control. There were other people in my life that was making me feel bad and when I feel bad, I gravitate towards an abundance of food and abundance of spending on makeup products and clothes and shoes and all that sort of stuff. And that person was really making me feel quite stressed in an already quite stressful environment. So I just distanced myself from them entirely. Like there was somebody who was very, very close to me. I took a step back. I stopped calling them all the time. I stopped replying to their texts so quickly. I'd take a day or so to reply to their texts and it'd be very vague. And I just needed space. I needed space to get back into my own head, to listen to myself and to be kind to myself and to focus on my health and my fitness, which has really made a huge difference to me and I, I couldn't be thankful enough. Sometimes you just need to take a step back from everybody else in your life to glow up. And not everybody's going to love the fact that you are looking after yourself and you're going to come out of this a better person, more successful, more happy, more well-rounded. But at the end of the day, this is your life. If you want to glow up, you do it, you focus on yourself and you really take what's important to you and run with it. So I hope this video helped. It is a little bit of a rambly video. I kind of just wanted to get my thoughts out there. I really do hope I translated what I was trying to say across the camera to you guys. I do want to do some more of these kind of chatty videos where I can get some information and stuff that has been in my mind out to you guys, uh, maybe once a month, because I know that this is very off topic for a lot of you guys. Um, I'm more makeup 
orientated but i do think internal glow ups are just as important as external glow ups in terms of doing your makeup and stuff like that so i just think that it's crucial to look internally and externally to be the best versions of yourself so if you do like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also have that post notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of my future uploads i'll also have my instagram handles on the screen for you guys to go and check me out over there and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks guys bye